Hello and welcome to you know, Let's Play. Me, Game of Woo, Six of Escape from Monkey Island. On last Let's Play, we stopped the catapult from destroying the mansion, at least temporarily. Requisition a ship. I uh, did some insult arm wrestling, and now I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do next. I think it'd be sailed to the other island, but um. Oh, you there, matey. What are you doing here, Guybrush? I don't know. Nobody wants to be on my crew. I really don't have time to help you with that. Is there anything else? I really think I'll need some money on this trip. Not until you learn how to spend your money responsibly. I'll let you concentrate on your campaign. Thanks. Oh, maybe I need to use the seal on the uh, pirates? Because they're wanting cushy government jobs, but when I tried to talk to them, they didn't uh, want it. They they just I quit out of the conversation. So it's probably me having to be like, hey, stamp. Hmm. Sounds. Just drunkenly wandering around. Oh, hey. Okay, use on them. I don't think they'd like that. Oh. With what? Hey, With guys. What? Again. What is it now? We got some heavy duty seeing ya. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it was something on the boat. I'm not sure how I'd use this. Maybe I need to use I can't use this. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, let's do all the things. I'm not picking that up. Okay. I can't use this. Hmm. Maybe I need to use a gubernatorial symbol on the captain. I guess I'll just talk to everyone and see if there's any new dialogue options. Ahoy again, mateys! Are you sure you won't join my crew? Nah. Thank you. Why aren't you playing insult? The official Tri Island Dart Throwing Semi Professional League rulebook clearly states all dart competitions must be won by dart throwing skill, not by any other means such as bribery, insults, threats, or otherwise. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll be. Are you still here? I'm back. That you are. Can I get a refill on these pretzels? Sorry. You'll have to finish the ones you've got there first. But I want more. Quit your whining. Hmm. Are you sure you can't join my crew? I'll check. Hey, boss! Don't even think about it, bucko. He sounds pretty adamant. Do you know anything more about this Australian? Mm, not really. I'd surely... Let's still do... I have all that Second stuff, I think. Me, me. Uh, I've got to go. Right. Mm, go in this way. Okay. Use it on him. I don't think he'd like that. I don't think he'd like that. Hello again. Yeah. Are you looking forward to? Oi. It's been nice chatting. Hmm. I would really like to 
Our rented honeymoon ship is already pulled out of the harbor. It's just as well. Oh, it was rented. For short trips. Huh. Fair enough, I guess. The how's that we own a have a governorship yet we rent ships. Sure, there is anything there. Ahoy again! What is? We got. see it? Not if we. <laughs> I don't think they'd like that. And we're pretzels then. Hey, excuse me. What is it now? Would either of you like a kudu jerky pretzel? No. We may be hungry, but we're not that hungry. Okay. Left. Not sure if that's an important thing. I guess if I get stuck on these things, then I might just make it a point I'm two kind of thing. Are. You know, same Can week. Can I get a refill on these pretzels? You know, you're the first person to ever ask for seconds. I guess I'm just a sucker for the taste of twisted kudu. Okay. I've got to go. Right, well, Grog will do that. Hmm. There's nothing in there. Are there any other buildings that had nothing in them? Desensitized, but this pile of human bones no longer sickens me as it once did. That's quite a thumb. Nothing happened. Okay. Nothing happened. Hmm. This table must have been a hand me down. Ha! <laughs> Yikes! You pull? Hey, it's you! Yes, it is I. You seem to show up whenever I'm in trouble. Why? Who can say? Perhaps it's because we share an unspoken magical bond. Perhaps the fates have intertwined our destinies. Or maybe I've got an unbreakable five-game deal with LucasArts. In any event, I'm here to help. How can I assist you, Guybrush Threefwood? Uh, yeah. The cards have foretold that you seek direction. How do I get to Luker Island? It's a fairly simple procedure. Get on your ship, then assemble your crew. A crew? Where am I going to get a crew? This is a pirate town. Even in these economically depressed times, you should be able to find a couple of competent sailors. Then sail to Lucra Island. You think it would be the opposite of depression, you know, economic depression that would make it hard to find a crew? Tell me again how to get to Lucra Island? It's a fair get then a crew. This then... How can I help Elaine win her re-election? That depends. What do you know about politics? Absolutely nothing. Then, short of stuffing the ballot box, I don't see how you can help her. Great! Better get a stuffing. But if you get caught, the Melee Town Council will string you up, stuff you with crawdads, and let pirates whack you like a piñata. Uh, that sounds I don't horrible. I think I like that idea. Perhaps it would be best if you steered clear of the election. Actually, I think I can figure- Very well. Eh, yeah, no. I sense that you wish to dabble in the dangerous voodoo arts. What did you have in mind? Have you got any of those evil destroying voodoo dolls? Sorry, we're fresh out. We're expecting a shipment from Dinky Island early next week, though. How about one of those invisibility necklaces to help me sneak into women's locker rooms? Those are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Got any? No, it's been a bad year for unspoiled eyeballs. Do you have any plus 10 strength elixirs in stock? Perhaps. What are your current stats? Uh, I don't think I've got any. Well then, what good would a strength elixir do? I see your point. 
I could really use a potion that would make me immune to severe gas attacks. You're telling me. Tragically, our shipment from Booty Island is also running late. I'm in the market for an enchanted sword that hypnotizes my enemies into a deep stupor before I skewer them with it. You don't need a sword to send your foes into a stupor, my child. Just be yourself. Gee, hmm. thanks. Have you got any snacks? I'm starving. I left my gum machine in Puerto Pollo. You might want to try the scum bar if you're really hungry. On second thought, I probably shouldn't be shopping at a time like this. True. I can tell that you're still... Did you have any... Okay. Same thing. Do you do, do On second thought, true. My mystic eye sees precious time wasted in idle chit-chat. What would you like to know? Didn't you relocate to the island of Puerto Pollo? I did, but I sensed that I was needed here on Melee. Besides, the incessant clucking on Puerto Pollo was driving me mad. Who's this Charles L. Charles guy? And where does he get off trying to take my wife's job? I'm a voodoo priestess, not a political pundit. But I will say this. Charles L. Charles gives me the willies. What politician doesn't? True. Hmm. Did you really move your thriving voodoo emporium back to Melee Island just to be near me? Yes, but perhaps my voodoo senses were on the fritz. Why is Melee Island so empty? That is an excellent question, Guybrush. I thought so. Well, no answer. why is Melee Island so empty? Oh, that. About a month ago, a mysterious overseas investor began buying up all of Melee Island from the local pirates. Those that wouldn't sell have been challenged to various forms of insult games. Insult sword fighting, insult golf, insult darts, insult arm wrestling. You get the idea. Strangely, this investor always wins. He's the best insulter the Tri-Island area has ever seen. Eventually, even the craftiest of Mele's pirates have been forced to sell after wagering their homes and businesses and ever escalating rounds of insult gaming. How awful. Why don't the pirates just refuse to play? How many pirates do you know that can resist a duel? Good point. In any event, the few pirates remaining on Melee Island live in constant fear of being challenged by this foreign investor. Thank you. I'd like to talk about more important matters. Like what? I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later. Do do do. She says use the ship, so back to the ship, I guess. I can't use this. Why? I can't use this. I may need this to use it. Elena would probably kill me if I went around misusing this. With what? Elena would probably kill me if I went around misusing this. It's pink. That's the second most beautiful figurehead I've ever seen. Hey, she's got pierced ears. Why would anyone put earrings on a ship's figurehead? Hmm. It's pink. I can't use this. I can't use this. Is there some other button I'm missing? Uh, G whiz factor? Well, everything's in maximum. Except this. Hmm. Configure keys. Pause. Quick room. Quick room exit? Oh, huh. Hang up, put away, use, talk, look, run. Oh, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Knock, knock. Who's there? Anybody home? No. Go away. Then who are you? Uh, no one. There's no one here. 
When do you expect someone to be home? Later. Much later. Finish running your wife's errands first. But there's supposed to be a wax show today. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. The sign out here says there is. Uh, yeah, that. Well, it's cancelled. It's okay, it's me. Me? Who? I'm the plumber. I've come to fix the sink. That ploy won't work. I know why you're here, and you can't have it. What are you talking about? Stop pretending, you greedy old man. You think you can just buy up the whole island just because you can insult people? Well, think again. You can't take my house away from me if you can't get in. I knew I shouldn't have fixed that bridge. There's nobody home. Now go away. Okay, I'll come back later. Oh. Yeah, I resorted to uh, looking up a walkthrough and there's papers on a cabinet I'm supposed to pick up because reasons. I don't, like, I don't know why. Didn't, why wouldn't she tell me to pick up the things on the cabinet? Let's see if there's anything I can ask her about. I feel a little embarrassed that it's the third Let's Play and I'm like, I'm having a look at what I'm supposed to do. Because I couldn't tell if they were with me or weren't. Hello, my little plunder bunny. What are you doing here? Nobody wants to be- I really don't have time to- Is there anything else? I'll let you count. Thanks. Is it this stuff? The header says, Melee Government Employment Contract. Pick up. I guess that just is what it is. Probably should rub my uh, pirate guy up against every single object to see if there's something I need to pick up or put down or what. Oh, but it is what it is. Time to put the uh, stopwatch back on. Be nice that they just kind of were like, hey, um, we still need that contract. So I had a general direction of what I'm supposed to do. Some kind of joke. What? This contract is not even being signed by the governor. <laughs> we may be down on our luck, pirates, but we're not stupid. Come back when you've got a signed contract. Okay. Say so again, I feel like that's an oversight because I couldn't remember whether or not there isn't a quest log thing. I couldn't remember if that's the thing I rub it up against. Dearest, I thought we agreed that you wouldn't be spreading your messy inventory over our nice clean floor. Uh, sorry, honey, this will only take a moment. What's this for? I'm not sure. You just have a hunch that a signed government contract might be useful. All right, let me sign it. If only it was that easy. Mr. Cheese. Probably it would have been quick if I just pressed O O. It feels like an absolute lifetime ago since I've played this. Wow! You actually got us a signed government contract. She sounds familiar too. 
Looks good. Very nice. Wait a minute. This is a standard government manual labor contract with no pension plan or dental coverage. Hey, you're right. We want a cushy government contract with a desk. Come back when you got something that doesn't involve back-breaking labor. Damn. Okay, so it was the cabinet and not uh, the other thing. Oh, there's another one. It's a government paper of some sort. The header says, Melee Government Employment Contract. Cushy edition. Another contract? Just to be safe. Well, so much for my status as a reform candidate. All right, let me sign it. Oh, right. Hopefully they get rid of the superfluous stuff later on so I don't, you know, figure I need to rub it on things. Okay. Wow. You actually got us a signed contract. Well, let's see. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ah, yes. Good. Aha! Uh -huh. Um, Carla, do you even know what half of this stuff means? Not a clue. But look, it says cushy in the title. Wait. All right, then. All right, Threepwood. You got yourself a crew. Is that the sheep? It doesn't look very seaworthy. At least it doesn't smell like monkeys. Are you guys ready to go? I mean, it seems oh, like it has size Whatever. to it compared to the no, other ones. Don't make me slap you, Otis. Fine. Let's get this over with. Then we're off to Luger Island in search of high adventure and a legally binding restraining order. It'll all end in tears. Mark my words. Mr. Cheese, shouldn't we steer away from those dark, portentous clouds? Nonsense, Captain. A little rain never hurt anyone. <laughs> Why? Bobby! Button down. Leap for the silent Clear the scoopers. Get your hands off me. Uh, well, there you go, Mr. Marley. Lucar Island. Ah, Lucar Looks Town. nice. The largest urban center in the Tri Island area. Thanks, Mr. Cheese. Uh, next time you think we can get here with a little less drama? Oh, no. There's not going to be a next time, is there? Better not be. Once was enough. Okay, I'm going into town. You guys stay here and watch the ship. Oh, sure. I see how it is. The captain gets to make all the decisions. <laughs> hey, you captain making all the decisions. And there's a duck. Can I pick up the duck? We might need it. It's a rather unspectacular duck. Yeah, put that duck in my inventory. I should go to the law offices before I get some bait. Yeah, okay. Do we change our clothes? Yeah, I remember this place for the longest time because I got stuck. Because I think the guy that came with the game, um... Oh, this isn't the place? No, it is. I should go to the law offices before okay, it I go isn't. in there. Uh, because... Like, either there was a manual missing or they forgot to cover the bit. Or maybe I was too stupid to understand what I was supposed to do. Probably a little bit of A, B, and C. Um, excuse me, is this... Come in. Come in. Come in. What can we do for you? 
I was told you guys could help me. Of course we can. What is it, wrongful dismemberment? Hit and run dinghy accident? Hurt your back while pillaging another ship? Uh, no. I need you to see if you can save my house from being destroyed. That doesn't sound very prestigious. <laughs> Lucrative. Did I mention that my house is the governor's mansion on Melee Island? Governor's mansion, you say? Well, that changes things. Nice use of the TM. But you can't be the governor. I'm here representing the Honorable Elaine Marley Freepwood, governor of the tri -Island area. She's my wife. Oh, I get it. I was tri -Island area? joking about the wife thing. And people think lawyers have no sense of humor. You know, it's illegal to make that wrongful and preposterous claim. Should we sue him? How much do you think he has? I'm serious. We just got back from our honeymoon. Three glorious months on the high seas. And return to find the mansion under siege by a dastardly demolitionist. Is this alleged demolitionist wealthy? Hmm, yes, we could sue them. Put a lien on their catapult. File a writ of habeas money. Wouldn't you rather go after the big bucks? If Elaine wins the election, she'll be a powerful person. And if the mansion is saved, she'll have someone to thank. And if that someone is you... We would be given a lot of money? Er... Uh, not given. Think outside the juror's box, my esteemed colleagues. We could become the official lawyers for the Tri-Island area. Yes, the preferred legal team of the governor's office. What do you need from us, young I mean, fellow? aren't I they? You handled Grandpa Marley's estate, right? Yeah. Right. 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 Did he have a plan for such a crisis? Nope. 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 But we'll get right on it. Right. Right. Okay, I'll wait. Actually, this may take a while. Legal issues can be quite complicated. And take a lot of research. Isn't there something else you could do for a while? See the island. Take in the sight. Um, I guess so. Oh, hey, you might as well take this. What is it? It's a letter from Grandpa Marley. It was supposed to be delivered after his granddaughter got married. This will save us a trip. Now be gone. We trip. have work to do. No, this is a very personal letter. For, hmm, let's see what it says. <clears throat> My dearest Elaine, if you are reading this, then you are married and I am dead. Now that you've finally settled down with a fearless pirate husband, it's time for you to claim the final pieces of your family's heritage. At the Lucre Island Municipal Bank, you'll find a safe deposit chest under my name. Among other things, the chest contains the deed to the Marley Mansion. Never lose sight of this deed. Furthermore, the chest also contains my wedding gifts to you. I'm sorry that I was unable to deliver them in person, but I go to my grave confident that you've chosen a man I would be proud to call grandson. Lastly, and most importantly, the chest contains the keys to the most terrifying secret in the Caribbean. A secret ten times as terrifying as Big Whoop? The secret of the ultimate insult. Yipes. If the unholy power of the ultimate insult ever found its way into the wrong hands, there's no telling what sorts of hexbond mischief can be unleashed upon our fun-loving pirate citizens. Guard these secrets with your life, and know that no matter where you are, your grandfather is watching over you. With all my love, Horatio Tokamata Marley. How sweet. Uh, P.S. If your deadbeat parents come around looking for a handout, tell them to take a long walk off a short gangplank. If we knew where the body was, we could order an exhumation. Where are my griefs? Okay, uh, bank, I guess? Is this a bank? What is it? Oh, yeah, okay. And just oh, that's the Australian. Bank policy, sir. I can't convert these travelers' checks because we've never heard of, uh, what's his name? Australia. But you've honored them countless times before. We've had a bad run of counterfeit money come through here lately, so we've had to tighten our policy. And if you ask me, these don't look real. <laughs> Besides the funny name, there's a picture of a strange animal on here that has another one popping out of its belly. That's a kangaroo, you ignorant pirate trollop. See? There you go. Kangaroo. Another funny name funny is they too. Kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo. <laughs> oh, strength. I've got business to attend to, but I'll come back, and when I do, I want these honored. Have a nice day, Mr. Mandrill. He should switch to decaf. Kang 
So we're out of time, so that's gonna be the end of this let's play. So please comment. Uh comments spay new your animal sorry i had a huge brain fart which is weird because usually i can do the outro without even thinking and until next time on the let's play maybe that's the reason why it was doing so not good by me Nemo six of escape from monkey island so thanks and see ya